<laughs> so hot out. <laughs> but, but something, oh, oh, hello, sorry, sorry, sorry I'm so rude and didn't introduce myself and say hello, how are you guys doing today? I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing great because uh, I got the old pool up. Look at that. All of my viewers out there and subscribers that follow me on Snapchat, I did a little story and uh, yeah, showed how nasty this pool was and now the whole family, man, we get to cool off when it's scorching like it is now. It's, it's like 92 degrees. I'm not liking it. I'm ready for the cold to be back. But enough blabbing. You know, I've been struggling a little bit with the magnet fishing videos. I went out all day today and had zero luck. I went to a big old bridge. Uh, actually, I got the suggestion from one of you guys down in the comments. But I went to a big bridge and tried to, you know, magnet fish underneath the pillars and there just wasn't enough water. I found nothing. So I came home and I ate lunch and I was like, Bobby, what, where is the spot, the money spot, the spot where it's gonna have treasure, you're gonna find stuff, where is everybody at? You know, where are a lot of people gathering around a little body of water? And I got the perfect idea, literally popped into my head and I was like, oh my gosh, downtown there's what they call Avenue A Park and that's where I need to go, that's where I need to go and I need to magnet fish the little canal because they have tons of concerts and events down there and there's nothing but restaurants and bars and whatnot so a lot of stuff could get thrown in this little canal you'll see what i'm talking about i'll stop blabbing so we can get on the road but before we get on the road look at them ducks pop sockets on the old phone oh yep got these bad boys don't know if you've seen them or not don't know if i've showed them i can't remember but we have the hats and the shirts as well. All of the Ducks products that you'll see in my videos are linked down in the description. When you guys go purchase something from Ducks, that goes directly to supporting me being able to film videos for you guys and be a YouTube vlogger. So, I appreciate your guys' purchases. Let's get on the road. I'm excited about this one. I know I've said we, we can do good magnet fishing videos before, but this one, I'm telling you, has the highest probability that we'll find something good. That's what I'm guessing. Let's go. Well, we are here and there's a lot of people around. I mean, there's a ton. So I feel a little awkward holding the old camera, waving to people as they go by. Hello, 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 hello. But I'm excited. This thought came to me um, literally just, I was racking my brain. I stopped for a little bit. I'm, look, you're not coming up with anything good. And then it just popped in my head. I'm like, right here. This is where we need to go, right here. Because as you can tell, this is just extremely downtown. A lot of people are here all the time. There's literally a water park across the way. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of eats, a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, a lot of everything down here. This is what this is, is downtown. It's a creek that runs right through the middle of downtown. So we are gonna get to magnet fish in this. I'm not gonna waste any time because, see down here, I used to skateboard down here when we were younger. Uh, I skateboarded a lot, it was my thing. And uh, maybe one day I'll do a video of me. If you guys wanna see me do a skateboarding video, let me know. Your boy can skateboard pretty darn good. But we used to skateboard down here on this bank and do our kick flips and lose our skateboards in this creek and uh, if I can remember right, I've watched probably two or three skateboards get lost in this creek. A couple were recovered by my buddies who actually got in and got them. But this is only probably four to five foot deep. Let's get after it. I'm talking too much. Let's go. I got the old uh, GoPro on, so that's how we're going to roll. All right, got you on the old GoPro. Here we go. Here goes nothing. There's, I'm not sure if they drain this thing very often, but if they don't, if they don't drain this thing and clean it, there's bound to be a bunch of stuff. And the good thing is the bottom of this is concrete. The whole canal is concrete. So it should be really, should be decent, I'm hoping. Unless they, ooh, there was some. It should be good unless they drain it down. No telling. Ooh, look at that. First thing I find is a razor blade. Great little washer of some sort, but yeah. First thing I pull up is a freaking razor blade. Nice. 
I was kind of afraid that maybe I would run into some bad stuff down here, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, which I hope I don't, like needles or anything like that. I hope, I really hope I don't come across it because I don't want to have to touch it, but you never know what we're going to find. Keep on trucking. Oh God, what's that? Whoa, I just latched onto something. What the heck? Look at that. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, look at, look at that little crawfish. Little crawl daddy. Well, there's the first find. Oh man, that's a good magnet. That magnet is freaking strong. Well, first big find. We found a razor blade and uh, just came across this disgusting chair. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. It's um pretty nasty. Yeah. Look at that. There's baby crawl. Baby crawl dads everywhere. Look at that. Old centipede guy. Anybody knows what that is? Anybody knows the technical name term of this animal? Let me know down below. But look at that. Big old crawl daddy. Get back in there, boy. So, yeah, first big find, a chair. I knew that this spot was gonna be just ridiculously good. First five minutes in, we found a chair. Another reason why is you'll see this whole grass area. There's actually a stage over here. Actually, oh, just here, I'll show you, okay? I'll just go ahead and show you. They have a lot of concerts right here on this stage and then people sit with their lawn chairs all through here and obviously they lose their chairs in the water so we only went literally 12 15 foot <laughs> all right we're rolling again we are rolling again and i'm literally just taking it up against the side that's all i'm doing right now i have not done i haven't even covered the other side of the water or in the middle uh, just up against this edge so good luck so far that felt like something yep oh wow what's all this what the heck look at that so what do we got here we have a piece of metal another piece of metal and then one two batteries in the same exact spot that's odd well let's get her back in there see what else we can find I am just dragging her along the edge still. I have not got off the edge of this and already found everything we found, but I knew this was going to be a gold mine down here. Be able to find some good stuff down here, I have a feeling. There we go, there's something. Oh yeah. What is this? It's a big piece of metal of some sort. Well, I've went over to about the end of the tunnel and been working this tunnel. I really like the tunnel. I don't think we're going to get to explore the entire creek because it bends all the way around that way and it's just really long. We'll probably have to make a couple videos out of this. But, but right here, you can see that there's a gap and that's where the road is. Uh, I just have a feeling people launch stuff out of their vehicles or something. And so I want to just, I'm scanning this area real heavy right now. Okay, let's find something good again. Come on now. Come on now. We got us a chair. And a razor blade. You can't beat that. Those are two finds that you just can't beat with a hammer. If you guys like this view, drop me a thumbs up and let me know. See if we can find us anything good. Oh. Felt like I latched onto something right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. No freaking way. Are you serious? I just found a shotgun shell and it's a steel shot. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I swear to you, I did not plant 
that there like I will put that on my family Wow that is insane this is a Winchester Super X three inch ounce and an eighth what does that say four shot four shot all be dad gum no way and then I also found a bolt with it a bolt Wow no freaking way oh my god no what the let me get the big camera oh my god no way well I just went and got my bucket from under the bridge I came all the way down here and it's my first time coming down here down this way and I literally just found a shotgun shell okay it's not that it's a gun it's not that it's cr that crazy by no means but for your boy who's a shotgun shooter nonetheless all the time on this channel I find a shotgun shell in an urban creek our urban creek our only urban creek here and look at that thing I mean it's rust you can look how long that's been in there quite a long while not been shot look at that I found a shotgun shell how ironic is that what the heck you can tell I didn't just fake finding this. you can tell I just didn't fake find this thing look look at the brass on this bad boy it is corroded bad look how long that's been in there Wow well put that in the old bucket I'm a little shocked not gonna lie well, let's keep freaking going. Yee that's an awesome find. Like, that's my best find yet, by far, of all time. This might be, this is, uh, this creek is the honey hole. I'm about to go find every creek, downtown creek like this, cities, and go do this. I'm serious. I'm about to go to Wichita. I'm about to go to, I found it. I found the ticket. Whew, it's getting warm out here. I think it's like 90, 92 degrees, something like that. But we just found a couple more things. It looks like a part to a pin. And then a, what do they call these things? A hair bur brett or a, what are those things called? A bobby pin, maybe? A bobby pin? <laughs> everything after the tunnel, we're going to come back probably tomorrow and do the do everything that way. So there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of creek that way that goes for about another whole city block pretty much seriously guys just got done taking the picture of uh, the shotgun shell and i am absolutely dumbfounded i cannot believe that i found a freaking unshot shotgun shell and let alone it be a three inch steel all my waterfowl hunters you know how that how relatable and weird and what a coincidence it is so yeah so we're going to keep dragging here. Uh, I'm so excited that I just wanted to kind of stop and save the rest of the creek for another video, but we're going to keep dragging because there's no telling what we will find. I'm telling you, there's no telling. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that. We have a lug nut. Lug nut. A... Oh, another bolt, another screw, another bolt. And then look at that. A freaking spark plug. A champion spark plug. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy. Some metal of some sort there. Wow. There's some awesome finds down here. This is fun. This is fun. Well, sling her back out there. And by the way, people, look at look at the bottle over there. Pick up your trash. Just pick it up. That's what we're out here doing, magnet fishing and picking up people's trash. I have a feeling along this edge, I'm going to find some stuff. I think that's pretty much where I found a lot of my stuff already is along this edge. 
Oh man, that is crazy. I cannot believe I freaking found a shotgun shell. It's not that it's, like I said, it's not that it's just crazy and it's like viral by no means, or it's a gun. It's not like that. It's not like a possible murder weapon or anything like that. It's just how much of a coincidence that it's a still shot shotgun shell. I could have I could have found anything. I found a freaking spark plug for God's sakes, but a shotgun shell, a still shot shotgun shell. That just... That's crazy. Gosh darn it. Crazy how the world works, people. It's crazy, I'm telling you. Well, we're back here to this little bridge now. Look at this. Got a whole sidewalk that goes above it. Hey, thanks train, thank you. Whole sidewalk, so who knows what people have just thrown in here. We're about to find out. Oh man, we're gonna have to come back to this creek a bunch because I'm not even able to hit literally a quarter of it in one day and in one video. So we're going to have to come back to this creek a bunch. Really sling her in there this time. There we go. Now we got her in there. This lens gets wet every time I do that. Well, it felt like something there. What is this? A top of a can we are racking up the good finds people the chair and the shotgun shell have just been epic so see if we can duplicate that by doing some side dragging one day I think next video we're gonna go on, on the other bank we're gonna drag that whole side just like we are this side I think all the trash really accumulates you know to the sides so that's our plan on the next video. If you guys want to see me come back here, because you know that magnet's only that big around and I can't cover the whole bottom of this thing in one day. If you guys want to see me come back here, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up and let me know. And if you guys want me to come back here and keep searching like we have been, I'll maybe bring a friend or two so we can cover more water and the given amount of time. But if you want to see me come back, drop that thumbs up button. And if you like these magnet fishing videos, look at this. Another, another can top and a piece of metal. If you guys like these magnet fishing videos, again, drop a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Be like, Bobby, yes, I love them. Keep doing them, or Bobby, they suck and they're boring. Don't do them anymore. So, either way, if you like them or dislike them, let me know. Clean our magnet off here. She's getting kind of gummy. Well, look at that. Another, ooh, E. That's a brand new hook. Someone's been doing a little bit of fishing down here with a circle hook. And we got another canned food top. Who are you that keeps throwing your canned food tops down here? Probably a homeless guy. That's, that's the way it's kind of looking. Because this bridge, I've seen people sleeping under this bridge many a time. So I wouldn't doubt that all the can tops are from probably the same individual. Well, let's keep trucking here. This is fun. I'm having fun doing this. Especially down here where there's actually stuff to find. It's, it's, it kind of kind of sucks going to a big lake because it becomes really difficult extremely quickly to find stuff. Literally, that uh, last magnet fishing video, if you guys haven't watched that one, after this video, go watch the last one and then the one before that. We're starting to stack up the magnet fishing videos here. So, But like I was saying, the big lake videos are just hard. It's hard to find good stuff. Literally, it took me... I was probably there for five to six hours uh, throwing that darn magnet, trying to find something at a lake just because it's so big and hard. Big and hard, I shouldn't have said that. Well, what do we got here? Um, piece of metal, another nail. Sick. Gosh, look at all the junk we're getting in there. We are racking it up. Fished it, I, I've never fished it per se, but I see a lot of- Just run from the Arkansas River. This is the Cow Creek, yeah. Part of the Cow Creek. So yeah, there, there's fish in there. Yeah, there, there's definitely fish. It's it's all cement. The whole bottom is cement. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, met some people there. They knew exactly what I was doing. That boy was like, finding anything good? <laughs> oh goodness. I'm telling you, you put yourself out there and you go filming downtown and have a camera and a magnet you're dragging around. You get a lot of attention. I've already had like two or three people stop and talk to your boy.
wondering what the heck I was doing. That's how it goes in the old YouTube game. That's that's how it goes. Ugh. Yeah. Yuck. Well, I figured I'd take off the old GoPro, come back down here to the creek, and kind of close out the video. If you guys enjoy these magnet fishing videos, this one was actually fun. We found some really good stuff compared to the other ones. The other videos were kind of just finding, you know, random this and that. Couple good things, but this one had some great finds. If you guys like them, drop a huge thumbs up for your brother. Do it. Let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, if you're new to the channel and you like duck hunting, magnet fishing, big cat fishing, all the above, go ahead and subscribe. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we're gonna be doing this. We're out here. Go and pick up a duck's hat or a duck's t-shirt. All of your purchases go directly to supporting the channel and allowing me to do videos like this for you guys. But all the ducks gear that I've shown in the video today, the phone pop sockets, the knife, all that stuff, the hat, the shirts, hoodies, yada, 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 all that stuff will be linked in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. But I'm not the same, man, and I could let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags. Now I got a game plan, and I'm out here with the whoop. 700, 3 i 5s look alive, look alive.